Hi, Dad. We're going to leave for church in a minute. It's Sunday. It's uh, the first Sunday since. Well, since you. Right. You're the one who told me to hope for the best and prepare for the worst. So now when you wake up, you'll have this. Dad. I'm outside. We're leaving a little early. It's the first time someone else has to drive. Hey, okay, I said I was gonna do this, so gonna do it. Let's see, it's Monday. I just got home. It's the first day back at school and everybody's really nice. Like nice to the point of being creepy. It's like everything everybody does is because your dad's in a coma. So now I am literally looking forward to doing math homework. I just said that out loud. And you know, now it kind of feels like you're faking this whole thing because this is what you really wanted. Hmm. It's Friday. I'm about to head out for school in a minute. I just didn't want to miss another day. Um, there's nothing really new going on. Stacy and June and I might hang out after school, thinking mall and maybe a movie. Probably something really stupid that you'd hate. In fact, I am not gonna see anything good until you're back. So, Stacy's boyfriend brought some of his buddies to the movie and I ended up sitting next to this guy and afterwards we just sort of walked around and talked for a while and I told him how I know in my gut that you're gonna wake up soon. And he didn't have that like pitying look that people have when I say that. It was like, you got it, you know? <laughs> But of course, I forgot to get his number and I don't remember his name and Stacy chose tonight to have a huge fight with her boyfriend and now they're not talking, so I basically have no way to contact the one person who doesn't treat me like a fragile little porcelain doll. Also, I forgot to feed the fish all week, um, so Daenerys or Baratheon is dead. I can't really tell them apart and neither can mom. And Chappie kind of ate part of him or her. So sorry. So a couple of guys came by the house earlier and they want me to join their cult. I said I needed a couple of days to think about it. So if you want to wake up in time, we could talk about it. That'd be good. So it turns out his name is Nathan. This is his, or it, um, it was his, I'm keeping it. He's cute. I would show you, but he's a little bit camera shy, which is totally fine. We can't all be attention divas. <laughs> nice. You know, it's kind of funny. I think if you were here, I wouldn't quite be ready to tell you yet. Um, so good move. Feel free to wake up anytime. Okay. So Nathan only eats grass-fed beef, which makes it really expensive. And his mom's on food stamps and he works part-time. He doesn't have a license, but he knows how to change the oil in a car, which is kind of cool. He even said he'd teach me. Hey. Hey, Mom. Um, do you want to come say hi? It's for Dad. No, I'm okay. Okay. Mom, are you... Mom? So, I went digging through the attic and I found this and it fits, so thank you very much. Also, went through a couple of boxes and stumbled across these. Yeah. So how about this? You wake up in the next 72 hours and I will erase this from my memory and I won't open any more boxes. Love ya.